high five. Good evening, everyone. It's me. It's me. It's Russell, the Tuba Geek. Yeah, a little bit different change up on the uh, on the intro. Just trying some different things. Um, today is July the seventh, twenty twelve, uh, and got quite a bit going on um, in the world of DDP yoga uh, for myself. Uh, just to kind of carry back. Um, since I did my weigh-in, I really have not done that much. My last weigh-in on day 120, I didn't really have that much working out going on. I think I was a little paranoid uh, since I had my little tweak with my back. Um, but just for the end of the month, I was listening to one of the episodes of DDP Radio. Uh, it's at www.ddpradio.com. Link in the uh, annotations below. And DDP was talking about a member who had been at 600 pounds, lost over 100. Then apparently he had some other health issues occur and he fell back out. And we had found out that he had had a stroke. While watching the, listening to this episode, I found out that individual had passed on. Um, Give me a bit of a kick in the butt. So June 29th, I kicked it into gear, and I have been working out every day since. I know it doesn't seem like much, but for me, I've been working out now for well over a week straight, and this is the longest stretch I've gone. And I'm about to break that record every single day from here on out. DDP has actually put out a challenge for all of us uh, who wish to participate to complete 30 days of DDP yoga in the month of July. He actually gave us a calendar to keep track of. We'll show that to you here right now. You'll notice on my calendar, zoom in here a little bit. Whoops. You'll notice that I did a weigh in on July the 2nd. I did that as a benchmark. Uh, as you can see, July 12th is my 150 day milestone. And I'm still got my goal for July 12th. It's been the third time I've pushed this goal back, but I've not been deterred to get myself under 300 pounds. Um, with doing that, um, I feel that I could very easily push it to the next step and by the end of July be at 285 pounds. Um, to put that in perspective, that would put it that by the time, if we go on the same pace, I would probably be pushing somewhere around to 70 to 75 by my August the 11th six month milestone. Um, I would be thrilled if that were to happen. That would put me at having lost about, uh, at losing over 50 pounds in six months. So I'd be averaging having lost 10 pounds, roughly 10 pounds a month um, over the course of six months. I would be ecstatic if that were to happen. Um, we've also been challenged to come up with one move that we want to own by the end of the month. I really, really did some searching on this one. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with it. But after thinking it through, um, I've decided I want to be able to do the bouncing leg lift, the one that is part of our six pictures. I want to be able to get into that pose and hold it in whatever position I'm in for 10 seconds. So I'm not looking to get my legs straight out to the side of me or straight up in the air. I'm looking to get into the position and have the core strength to hold that position for 10 seconds. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stand-up, so, and I've done some mixtapes, so that's a guarantee that I'll be doing quite a bit. I'll be doing quite a bit more of that down the road here. Um, though next week, I am doing 
five straight days of diamond cutter. For those of you who have seen my 50 minute diamond cutter video, um, first of all, um, <laughs> good on you for sitting there 50 minutes and watching me go through that workout. Um, it's now a thought that I should have probably cut that down to about a 10 minute video. Um, you know, hindsight's 2015. I want to do a few shout outs to some people who have been really of benefit to me over these past few months. Of course, to my wife. Uh, my wife Erin has been awesome. She has, uh, she has not been participating, but she has from the sidelines been uh, very encouraging, very supportive, um, wanting me, encouraging me to keep going. Um, she hasn't been giving me the uh, do your DDP yoga or else, but she is seeing the difference in me and she's pushing me to keep it going. Um, so that's that's a huge deal. Um, big shout outs to um, Sparky, who's always been um, a big source of help and support. Uh, Dave Orth, who has been, I, I actually would say I would consider him a friend uh, in my circle of friends at this point. Just he, he's really, uh, he's, when you have somebody who's, who pretty much says, here's my, here's way to contact me, do it anytime. That's, that speaks volumes of, of someone's character. Um, Michael Mullins, AKA Tommy boy on the radio. Uh, man, you have, without even realizing, I think, uh, become a secondary source of inspiration, uh, aside from Arthur, to a lot of people. Um, as I mentioned to you before, you are the reason why I'm actually taking this 30-day challenge from DDP and I'm pushing it to a 50-day challenge. Uh, which will be pushing me beyond my 180 day milestone it will actually push me into the middle of um, August to keep to do 50 days straight of DDP yoga um, I am determined to do that uh, also he had mentioned about wearing about finding shirts that you used to be able to wear or even buying a shirt that's in a smaller size and wearing it and trying to get yourself to wear it um, the shirt I'm actually wearing right now is a 3X and it fits me comfortably. Oh, I wanted to step it up. So the other day, uh, I happened to be watching Monday Night Raw and someone mentioned that there was a, um, there's a website called Turnbuckle Tees that put out a shirt, has a diamond on it and says self high five. Um, and this was just after uh, DDP made his cameo on uh, on um, Monday Night Raw and um, gave the diamond carry to Heath Slater. Um, yes, I did have a nostalgic pop for that. I couldn't help it. Um, I decided to buy the shirt. And I bought the shirt in a 2X. What I'm going to do is once I receive that shirt, in the mail, I am going to, if my wife doesn't open the package first, hopefully she won't, um, once I receive that, I am going to record another video. I'm going to show myself opening up this package and attempting to put on this shirt the day I get it. I'm then going to come back on the 12th, uh, if it's not too close, uh, of this month, uh, July 31st, uh, which is the end of this, which will be the end of the DEP Yoga Challenge, and then at my 180 day milestone, and then yet again at the end of my 50 days straight of DDP Yoga. And we're going to see how well I fit into that shirt after 50 straight days of, so of good, solid DDP Yoga and good uh, monitoring of what I'm eating. Knuckles Nelson, I know you're still out there, man. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, nothing but love for you. Uh, just keep busting. I know you've been dealing with a lot, so 
uh, keep keep driving. Um, to one of my new friends, um, for lack of a better term, I'm going to call her the South Carolina Ninja. You know who you are. Um, been great chatting with you on Team DDP Yoga, and uh, looking forward to seeing your progress. You're already making great progress, and you're already light years ahead of where I am, believe it or not, um, just with what you do anyway. I say it every single time. To those of you who wonder if something like this is right for you. Um, actually, I had a conversation with a friend of mine from college. Um, well, I was involved in a conversation on Facebook with a friend of mine from college because he was wondering what kind of program to get into. And I mentioned EDP Yoga. And the biggest thing that I that um, someone else said was, find what works for you. And as I've mentioned before, I've tried different things. I've tried running. I've tried Weight Watchers. I've tried weightlifting. I've tried a whole mess of different things. The thing that works for me is this: for not just because it's it's there's no impact because my flat feet ain't getting me where running and uh, weightlifting requires doing things that I don't have the ability to do, which is like join a gym or buy weightlifting equipment but the other big thing is I have a great great circle of support not just with my wife um, and my family but also with team DDP yoga I know that I can go on there chat up with them anytime ask questions shoot the breeze um, talk about how much you know how much Ross sucked or impact rocked or um, or talking about who we who our favorites are for the uh, upcoming UFC bout or just chatting up about any general thing um, having people that you are like-minded that you can talk with and can offer you that support is a great tool um, again for those who do Weight Watchers or curves or um, any of the other programs out there where you get in that circle, you know what I'm talking about, where you have that support system. Um, I've got friends who do CrossFit, and I think the reason they've been so successful is they've got a support system around them with their trainers and with the uh, other people doing it with them and things like that. No knock to CrossFit. Um, but my, my, um, I'm not going to push anyone to do DEP yoga. I'm going to suggest it because it works for me. But find what works for you. But the two biggest things own your life <laughs> and feel the bang. <laughs>